As you can see, it's noon and it is 50 degrees. It's only supposed to get warmer today, so uh, I thought this would be a good opportunity to go and check out some lakes that I haven't been to yet this year. And maybe check a few that I have been to and just see if maybe the bite's a little better today, not the water's a little bit warmer. Um, I'm going to try and fish as much as I can from now until the end of the day and see how many different species and stuff I can catch. Uh, I'll have two rods with me today. I'll have my uh, medium heavy uh, spin and I'll have my mini Daiwa spin with me as well. Um, yeah, it's just a really nice day out and it's the first nice one we've had in a while. But yeah, hope you guys like today's video. I don't know if it's a blessing or a curse that I would decide to come down here the same day that they try to re-grade uh, the road. But it is what it is, I guess. It was a blessing. He let me pass. Um, I guess I can turn my car off. So we're actually here at the first stop I'm going to make today. You guys have been here. Um, it is actually where I filmed my very first video that got posted. We're going to go back into those woods. And there's a lake back there. And I'm going to see, uh, see if anything's biting back there. It's spring fed. Uh, yeah, so let's, let's get the gear on and let's go back there. So I'm shooting my videos a little bit more vlog style uh, these past days because of how it's been fishing. Um, also, impromptu jacket change because of how warm it is. Uh, but it's just nice to kind of have a second camera and give you guys a second view. Um, so that way I can kind of show you guys what I'm seeing. Sometimes. <laughs> Uh, but yeah, I thought, you know, a little bit of a vlog would be interesting, I guess. But I haven't actually been here since... Squirrels, a bunch of squirrels through here. Uh, since the last time you guys saw me out here on the kayak, which is kind of crazy because of how good of a day I had. For me to just not come back out here makes little to no sense. Somebody, some, oh, there goes some fish. Alright, well that's positive. I'm already seeing some fish. So, let's uh, set this camera down and I'll get to her here. Sign our spot one. On to the next spot for the day. That uh, didn't produce any bites, but it's a little bit windier there than I expected. I was kind of hoping that it, it was in the. Kind of hoping that because it was in the uh, back of the woods here, that there wouldn't be any wind, or at least less wind, but a few good gusts got it, so. We'll keep on searching for them. I'm gonna try and fish till dark today, so we'll uh, we'll see how she goes. There we go. That's gonna get a bite right there. What? What? That should have been a bite all day. That should have been Bite City right there. Oh! There we go. Alright, alright, alright. Took them a minute. They showed up. 
Hey, you're all right. You're all right, bud. First one of the day right there, guys. Oh. All right. Not the coldest fish, so that's good. Let's caught him on the Troutino. This little guy right here. Get those off you. Yeah. Alright. Thanks, guy. Thanks for the bite. So that's one. Let's see if I can get another one. He came out of nowhere. I actually thought I wasn't going to catch anything. There we go. There we go. That one's a little bit better. <clears throat> I'm not very good at uh, species, but it's definitely a panfish. But yeah, it's another one. Right out there. So this creek comes out, and it's right out in the middle. Let's see. He bit it earlier and I missed him, but got him that time. Ah, there he goes. He swam off. Right? He's over there. Good fish, guys. This uh, little mini spins putting work, putting in work today and yesterday. Yesterday I had the, what those five crappie. Today I'm out here. Two bluegill. A few miss. Not bad. Doing this little jig technique. Still running water, but uh, it gets pretty low. Ooh, there's a snake. Right there, nice little gardener. Yeah, all right, bud. Oh yeah, fishing, oh dude, I just spooked so many fish on accident, I didn't know, come back, I didn't know, I didn't know guys, it's okay, I'll still be there, expert cast, level zero, oh there's another snake right here in front of me, I want to get a close look and see what these fish are, if they're all carp, then of course I'm not going to catch any, but there's something else. I'm also checking that hole to make sure there's nothing down there. There's a bigger snake or something. going to do back and forth cast. Oh, there are so many fish right in front of me. You guys don't even know. Got done fishing spot two, we'll call that all spot two. Um, fish, I don't know, like eight different spots of the, the river. Caught two bluegill, first fish of the day. They weren't really, they're, they're panfish. Um, if you guys know what exactly the species is, please comment it below because I, I'm not good at identifying that stuff and I want to get better at it. Um, maybe I'll buy a book the easiest way, right? Uh, but yeah, so. It is, check my phone here, so it's 318, it is now 56 degrees outside, move on to the third spot for today, uh, we'll fish there, we'll probably fish there till 430, um, I gave this spot a lot of love today because um, 
I was honestly just kind of waiting for the weather to warm up, and I, I like this area, so I just kind of gave it a little bit longer. Um, wind's still blowing, it's not as strong, but it's still there, it's present. So yeah, we'll go on to the next spot, see how that goes. Like I said, we'll fish there till 4.30, and... Uh... Alright, see you guys today with the dog. I only had my micro rod with me. I don't know what that was, maybe a turtle? Um, today I've got big rod with me, so I'm actually going to try out this first and see if I get anything. I don't really know how deep it is along the sides here. Well, if there's going to be fish, it's going to be along the sides of these uh, flats. So well, that's what I'm doing, just cast them up against those walls and trying to keep it tight to the wall. Oh, I saw you. A bunch of fish. Got one. Oh, yeah, it's a bass. All right. Oh. You guys still there? All right. First bass of the season. Nice little largey. I caught him way down there, which I'm not going to release him down there, that's a really far drop, I want him to live. Um, but yeah, nice little bass. I'm going to, uh, there's access to the water right over here. Hopefully my poles don't get stolen. Oop, oh. Guys, that's my first largie of the year, not the biggest largie I've caught, but hey, Oop. there he goes. Good fish. So I caught that largey down there. And he definitely wasn't spawning, uh, obviously. So uh, I didn't want to release him back down there because I didn't want him to die from the drop. You know, that's a pretty far way down for a fish. Uh, but yeah, we're going to try and get another one up here. So I caught that bass a little bit ago. Uh, and then I went to this other spot uh, to try and get away from these kids. And uh, this old guy walks up. Well, not walks up. He was pretty far distance away. You know, social distancing. He walks up and he tells me, hey, it was fish. Pretty good sized fish, he said, actually. Down the trail a bit. I didn't even know there was a trail. Now here I am, wandering this trail, looking for fish. I have yet to find it. So I've learned a lot today, guys. Um, I've actually found quite a few spots I didn't know existed. And uh, come deeper into spring here, I'll actually start producing a lot of good fish from these spots. I'm pretty sure, certain of it. So, uh, now I hope you guys are enjoying today's video. I've got one or two more spots I'm going to go to. And I think I'm going to call it a day. I've been out here grinding since noon. 
almost 4.30 now. So, uh, yeah, hope you guys are enjoying and looking forward to this season as much as I am. Because, uh, especially if I can get days like today where it's just nice all day, all day long. And I can just go out and fish from you know, morning to night. There's going to be a lot of cool content coming your guys' way. So, if you haven't already subscribed, and liked my videos, and went to my Instagram, and subscribed to that, and all that good stuff, uh, I definitely recommend it. Because there's a lot of good content coming this year, guys. Alright, so we're here to the last spot. And, uh, I guess when I say the last spot, I mean the last lake. I'm probably going to walk this entire lake. Not like the circumference, but like the entire side of the shore that I'm on right now. Um, it is... ...450. It is now 58 degrees. The water has had the last six hours to warm up. So uh, hopefully the bass are going to be getting a little bit more active. And yeah, we're going to go from there. Um... You know what's funny is the amount of people who don't ask why you have a camera on. Like that's my main thing. Like since I've started YouTube, is like I'm wearing a camera on my chest at all times, and people just don't ask. My stomach. I have not eaten since I left. But uh, yeah, no one has asked me. Hey, you know what's the camera for or whatever. So it, it that's just a, a really odd thing to me. Maybe they're just used to it. Um, but yeah, so this is the last spot for the day. Uh, it's 4.50 right now, so we're going to get out here and try to make something happen. Hopefully catch some more bass and maybe some more bluegill. So, get it. There are a bunch of bluegill right in this rocks in front of me, so we will start there. There we go. Ah. Yeah, all right, bud. Good hook set right through the top. Definitely wanted the bait. Yeah, it's another it's a nice bluegill. Cool. There's definitely a weed line at this spot, so we'll try and avoid that by casting it into that tree over there. Not sure exactly how much of that you saw, but it doesn't matter because I won, obviously. Good update. It's five minutes to seven. Uh, it's 57 degrees, and eight oh two is sunset. Try and get that to focus. Eight oh two. So I've got about an hour to fish this last spot. Catch that one fish. I've already done an hour fishing challenge here before, and we all know how well that went. So, let's see if I can repeat that, that miracle. Alright, let's get out there. Last time I was here, the grass wasn't growing. I can see the lily pads starting to pop through. That's good. The other thing is that there's usually, yep, there they go. There's usually fish bedding all through here. This is where we're going to start to try and just uh, break this curse.
Got him. Ooh, little perch. Oh, caught a perch. Yeah, flare your gills at me. Yeah, boy. There we go. So I'll give you guys, actually, let me take a picture of this guy real quick and then get him back in the water. Fifth fish of the day. Been out since noon. But I'm getting them. All right. So here's what I did. Only with your bobber, you got the top part and the bottom part. And uh, I thought maybe I was having a problem with whenever I was setting the hook that I was pulling the bobber and not the hook. So I actually just tied it on the bottom real tight. And uh, yeah, I, I landed that fish the first bite. So definitely a lot better uh, than what was happening. Alright guys, I really hope you guys liked today's video. Got a beautiful sunset behind me. I think I'm going to stay out here a little bit longer. Um, if I catch something, I'll add it into the video. But uh, yeah, today was a lot of fun. I plan on doing kind of the same thing tomorrow. Uh, where I just go out all day, fish everywhere I can think of. And hopefully it pans out the way today did. The way today did. Um, Alright, well, as always, I will catch you guys on the fish side. There we go, nice little bluegill, six fish for today. You know, it's funny, I've got my camera rolling that I've been doing like the little vlog sessions on. Look at that six fish, so good. Thank you. <laughs>